With agitation for restructuring, governors of the six southwestern states have proposed a regional arrangement in which the present six geopolitical zones will be converted into federating units. And this is part of the governor's contribution to the ongoing review of the 1999 constitution by the National Assembly. The governors who met with the lawmakers in Abuja had promised that they will be ap approaching the constitution amendment with a common front. The recommended federating units or regions will be Northwest, Northeast, Middle Belt, Southeast, South South, and Southwest, and of course the Federal Capital Territory. The governors also want a provision to prohibit the dissolution of elected local government councils. It also proposed that the creation of local governments should be exclusive to state governments. Well, joining us via Cisco Webex from the UK is legal practitioner and public affairs analyst Adewale Ajadi. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, very quickly, I wonder what your thoughts are about Southwest Governors recommending regionalism as its uh, idea of uh, restructuring. Is that the way to go? Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, I think it's a, it's a backward step. Uh, in fact, a very concerning one. There are two fundamental principles that drive a good democracy. One is a participatory democracy, and certainly a, a representative democracy. By trying to aggregate upwards, it increases the influence of whoever controls the region, but it reduces the participation of the people. And I think that us trying to do that in the light of over 300 ethnic groups we have in Nigeria is a miscalculation of the worst kind. We haven't reached that scale. We still have states in which certain ethnic groups just totally disappear in governance, and there's domination by those who have hegemony in that state. And we have not even given the current states enough chance to function as federating units in terms of internally generated revenue, in terms of making the judiciaries independent, in terms of making local governments work. Many of them don't, don't even have local government elections. So what happens when you aggregate upwards? I think the concern seems to be more political than democratic engagement. Well, they are talking at more political than, uh, like you said, but they're saying they're going to have a common front when it comes to the amendment of the constitution. I, I wonder what your thoughts are uh, with that saying of a common front concerning the amendment of the constitution. Well, it, it's a misunderstanding. The six governors, or I don't know whatever numbers they are, are not the citizens of their state. They should be concerned about servicing the interest of the citizens rather than representing their own political interest. And what we can read from what they've said is actually their own political interest rather than actually being facilitators for the concerns and the, and the issues that engage their citizens. And I think that's unfortunate. Okay, so what you're saying in effect is that the, the uh, Southwest governors should concentrate on delivering uh, good governance at their level. But what do you make of this uh, demand that creation of local governments should be exclusive to the state governors or state governments? Well, this is the same power play we're talking about. We have many local governments that have not had elections. We have many local governments whose subventions are not given to them. We have local government chairmen that are incapacitated by state governments. Let's make local governments work. Let's make the ones that exist in work effectively. Let's make them independent. Let's make them function as a federating unit that they can be. Let's make them a participatory platform for our people to engage with government. And then let's see what happens next. We have this unfortunate habit, habit of looking at structure rather than the dynamics of our, of, our, of our democracy. We need to improve the dynamics of our democracy rather than concentrate on structures that help the people who are powerful and encourage the elites to ignore the common people. What would you rather uh, that the governor should focus on and what would you rather in terms of all that I have postulated they should be doing? Well, I, I certainly think that we need a more vibrant um, um, bottom of the pyramid, meaning that local governments should be empowered to engage people, to be accountable to the people, to ensure a more vibrant democracy, 
to ensure that young people can see themselves in the system. I think certainly they should make sure that their judiciary are independent in terms of financing and not completely under the cosh of an imperial governance. I think certainly that their legislators should be diverse and more engaged. And far more importantly, that all the subethnic groups that are involved in their states should be recognized and acknowledged in the governance structure that they are. We don't see that. We don't see that. Very, very quickly, in 30 seconds, if you can, um, there are people yes, who would say that think. when Nigeria we'll practiced regional, because of time. Yeah, regional government, that that's when Nigeria performed the most. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Diwale uh, Jadi, lawyer and public affairs analyst. Thank you for joining us. Okay.